Hi everyone in English 1301, it's Dr. E and I'm here with your week eight instructional video. So make sure you've watched the, the supplemental video already um, and just kind of taken a look at everything in the content area uh, for week eight so that um, you get a sense of where I am and, and where to find all this information. Um, I do want to note before we begin that if you look at the schedule, if you've been keeping up with that, uh, next week is spring break. Okay, so we have a break and we probably all could use it. Uh, so make sure that you take advantage of that downtime, uh, at least from school. A lot of you are still gonna be working and doing other things, um, but make sure that you kind of disconnect for a little bit and then come back ready to go. Um, after spring break, that that fall, that Sunday, that in spring break, I'll be working to post everything uh, and everything usually is finalized by uh, noon on Mondays. I do want to reach out and say a special thank you to those who reached out who um, recognized that there was there were issues with the videos uh, or at least the supplemental video it was a little too long so I had to pare it down a bit uh, so I really appreciate that keep that feedback coming when when you uh, uh, see an issue or, or are confused by anything that is posted okay so if we go into our course I'm gonna hit the content area and we're in week eight, but you scroll down, week eight's right here, right? Um, so the readings that we need to think about this week will be uh, quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing from our course text. So we talked about misinformation, we talked about annotating and summarizing last week. Now we're getting to you know, quoting and paraphrasing and how we use research in our writing. That's really important, y'all. Giving credit and avoiding plagiarism, I can't stress enough how important that is. So these are really important readings in addition to watching the TED Talk by Ron Finley. And here's the link for that. That is essentially, um, from here on out, we're going to try to, at least for the weeks that we have paper topic posts, uh, which you should watch the paper uh, topic portfolio instructional video because that will make sense. Um, those paper topics usually revolve around food as a subject. Um, so we had Choi's article last week and we have Finley's video this week and we'll keep kind of adding to um, the, the list of things that relate to food in addition to kind of thinking about writing in the background as well and the course text reading, right? So Watch the weekly instructional and supplemental videos, which you are doing right now. Awesome. Uh, watch the video explaining the paper topic portfolio. Uh, that's an assignment for down the road, but I want you to really start thinking about it now. And then you'll see the paper topic post is due. And you'll notice paper topic posts are unique. Those are things that will, will be included later in that portfolio assignment. So it's different just because it's not just a, a writing topic post. It's a paper topic one. You do have an annotation exercise related to Finley's video, and I call it a text. It is a text, but we know it as a video, um, and that's going to be due on Sunday, okay? And this, y'all, is just like Choi's work. So those same things you work to do with uh, with Amy Choi's article, you're going to do with Ron Finley's video. I want you to note that there is a transcript included of Finley's video so that you can take direct quotes if you need to for your summary. Um, you shouldn't take anything more than phrases. You don't need full-on sentences because the uh, the summary itself should is going to be full of, of your ideas and how you're summarizing it. Um, but, you know, just pay attention to that because we're working with a different medium, right? We're not working with the printed, you know, or article. We're working with the video. So you'll summarize uh, Finley's ideas and submit that. And I've posted instructions for that as well as the template, right, that you used for Choi's article. Okay, so on Sunday you have the annotation exercise due. You need to respond to all posts in your group area. So that is something to note that we actually have group discussions this week. And they are automatically chosen by D2L as a program. You won't see anything when you go into your group area. You have to post first. Okay, so if you don't see, like, nobody in my group has shared anything yet. It's just like any other week, you need to actually post your response and then you'll see what other people have submitted. And you may be the first. So if you post and you don't see anybody else's work, they just haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so be patient and check back. For that, uh, you need to respond to everybody. So it's not to, you know, respond to two of your colleagues. You need to go in. I want y'all to have a group conversation. Okay, so respond to everybody, offer feedback and ideas. Uh, you'll ask questions of one another. 
Okay, so respond to all those posts and then you do have your participation quiz, right? Um, so here you'll see that the paper portfolio instructional video, there's a link here for that. And then you can look at the actual document, the rubric, right? So uh, if you open that up, it just has all the details for that assignment, which you can view or you can print. I'm just not going to take the time to load it right now. Um, and then we have Finley's TED Talk and Transcript, so that link will take you there. And then here are the annotation exercise instructions, which are exactly like they were for Choi's assignment, but I've basically replaced Choi's name with Finley's name. So these are the instructions, right? And then you have these sample citations that you will then kind of uh, modify and use as examples for uh, your your Finley um, video. It's essentially the same thing. It's a page on a website. Okay, so we have the uh, template that is here, and this is what you will complete. Right, you will uh, enter all of your information, um, and then you'll have Finley, comma Ron, and then the video title and all the other information, and then you'll have your uh, paragraph summary. And then your your summary paragraph and then your second paragraph, which is just two to three sentences about your connections. Right. Um, remember that in order to utilize this template, you need to download it. Right. So uh, you can go to the bottom and click download. That kind of thing. So please take advantage of those. OK, so we have the annotation exercise template. You have the week eight quiz that's due on Sunday. And then we have the paper topic post in groups. And this looks like any other week. We're just doing it in a little bit of a modified format. So first, what I want you to do is to go into the chapter on quoting, paraphrasing and summarizing and pick what's the most important piece of information. If you had to choose what's the most important thing you read or learned there, why? Right. And then use brief phrases quoted, you know, quoted from the chapter to support your ideas. And that's one paragraph. You'll do the same with the other chapter. Right. One paragraph about an important point you need to support your ideas with phrases and quoted information. Make sure you are accurate with your quotes. And then finally, I want you to think about Finley's TED Talk. Right. So in one paragraph, I want you to think about Finley as a source. You know, we're thinking about misinformation, right, and determining that. Why should we trust him? How do we know he's a credible source? So this requires that you do a little bit of that work. You can Google him and his organization. There is a page on the TED Talks website about him. So if you pull information or quotes from that, you need to make sure that you cite the source. And that can be as simply as, you know, on Finley's TED Talk page, it, you know, it notes this. If you use something word for word, make sure you use quotation marks, but if not, you can just paraphrase, right? After that, in one paragraph, you know, why are Finley's ideas important, right? What about his ideas in his video uh, about being a guerrilla gardener, right, in South Central LA? Why is that important? And I put use quotes from the transcript to support your ideas. So if you follow this link to his TED Talk, I've linked it to the actual transcript video. So you can play the video and watch it here. And then this is the transcript where you can find text or you know quotes to support your ideas. Okay. Uh, so that's one paragraph, right? Okay, why is he important? And finally, in one paragraph or two, I want you to think about what your connections to Finley's ideas are. Um, do you or does your family grow their own food? A lot of times we will have grandparents who did this. It's it's seen as somewhat old fashioned, um, at least in city living in more rural areas. This is still standard. People grow a lot of their own food. Um, in your area, is there access to fresh produce? Is it affordable? And I put these are just sample questions to consider uh, because everybody will have a bit of a different response in terms of how you connected to Finley's discussion. And if you didn't, you can still push in terms of like, why? Why is why are these things that you don't relate to? But I will tell you that most of us can relate in some way living in Houston because there are similar environments uh, as there are in South Central LA that Finley identifies. To finish, I want you to create two thoughtful, thought-provoking questions, right? Really push your group members to consider the reading, right, and their own experiences. So don't ask general questions, right? Get people to think. So your initial response is due by Thursday, and your responses to all group members uh, will be due by Sunday. But on Sunday, you also have that annotation exercise for Finley's 
video, uh, so make sure that you're timing things wisely. You will need to go back in and check and see if people responded to you. Um, so I just, you know, go back in and see if people are kind of connecting to your ideas and creating conversation in the discussion board area. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, if I've forgotten anything, please reach out to me. Uh, you can email me or of course you can post in the Q&A discussion area of D2L. All right, y'all, let's have a good week. We're moving into spring break.